Sunday ngayon, Sunday ng umaga, kami ay magde-date at samahan niyo kami. First stop is the Van Gogh Go Go! Van Gogh Go Go! Favorite ni Rufa Mekinto, si Van Gogh Go Go! He's your favorite artist too, right? Yeah, I love him. Di ba? So, I went to um, Amsterdam maybe three years ago. But before that, I studied fine arts in UP, so I've always loved painters. That was ah. the Van Gogh Go Museum in Amsterdam. So, yeah, I fell in love with him. And now I get to see the school interactive show. Van Gogh. Okay, so, si Van Gogh. Oh, I'm so good with Van Gogh. Si Van Gogh yung... Uh, Pioneer ng racing. Okay. Kaya, ready, set, go. So that's a uh, yun story niya. Oh, An okay. incredible story of Van Gogh. On the way here, wala ka pa ako yung push ako. Naiwan ko yung wallet ko. Usually, kapag may ginagawa ko yun, nililibre ako ni Joyce the whole day. So, I waited for the perfect time to tell her na love na iwan ko yung wallet ko. Ano nangyari? Only to find out that they brought it. Nasa kanya pala yung wallet. Ay, nakuha. Anyway, nandito na tayo sa ano? Sa area. Sa area. Nandito na tayo sa area. At uh, manonood na tayo ng Van Gogh movie. Ay, hindi ba movie? Van Gogh. Ah, yes. Resurrection. Ano yun? Asan ba? Nandito na dito. And Van Gogh comes alive. This is part one, no? Oh, it's not here, ba? Did that sabi lang nito. So, si Van Gogh, base sa pagkakalam ko, isa siyang, uh, uh, siya yung, ano, uh, pioneer ng racing. Diba? Siya yung ready, set, go. So, in memory of him yun, Aray ko! Bakit ba? Ano ba ito to? He's a painter nga. He's an artist. He's an artist. Si Van Gogh naman, base sa pagkakaalam ko. Mahilig siya mag-drawing ng cartoons. So funny. Ayan na, ang dami pa ng pilo. It's 9.30am on a Sunday. And this is the only slot that we can get. Yes! Finally. Ano na tayo dito? No? Love ya? Yes! Let's go! I'm excited! Okay. Where do we line up? I think you can ask. Good morning mga kapuso! Walang pilo. Mga kapuso, kung sa kayo dito sa pilo. Mayroon pa kayo. So habang nilalagyan si Joyce ng bracelet, can you tell me more about Van Gogh? So Van Gogh is a Dutch post-impressionist painter and um, he's very very popular now but he didn't see the success of his work until after he died. He was so unpopular before that he even did mga commissioned work for mga restaurants in Paris. So, yung mga nasa CR lang, ganyan siya yung gumagawa. So, if you see some of his works, yung mga parang Japanese inspired, all of those are parang mga commissioned work. And he was so un appreciated before that his brother Theodore, who is very close to him, used to have to like sponsor his painting. So she nagbabayad, nagpunta si Van Gogh sa Paris, si Theodore. Ang bait naman ng kapatid nun, sana oil. Sana oil. Hashtag sana oil. Tapos, but then, when Theodore died, I think out of chlamydia or something like a sickness, when Theodore died, Van Gogh got super depressed na. And also, he used to love sleeping with mga prostitutes and then he fell in love with this one prostitute who eventually left him. And then after she left him, uh, he tried to kill himself. So he shot himself in the stomach. But instead of dying instantaneously because he shot himself in the stomach, he bled out for two days in the hospital before dying. Wow! Fact checked, everyone. <laughs> Don't worry, love. Kapag pumunta tayo sa uh, Miami Heat. Pagbigyan mo rin ako na facts. Miami Heat game. Oh, favorite to na coach ko yung Eric Spolstrom. Ano hinahanap po dun? Kupuan. Kupuan? Malapit na mag-9.30. Ayan, ayan, baby. Ito, baby ka naman. Karami natin. 
important a baby. No? A few moments later. Ito na, nagbukas na po yung pintuan. Here we go, love. Yay. So, may David Bowie shoes to rejoice from the stage from Anna. Yes. Ito ang question. I love paano David Bowie. Kung, uh, paano kung ngingat-ngat ni Bowie yan? Alam mo, patagal-tagal ko na kinocontemplate na ipamigay si Bowie, my dog. <laughs> so, if that happens, I think ililigaw ko na talaga siya sa kabite. Okay. <laughs> Parang pusa lang. Masama. <laughs> Pero... <laughs> Sige, Bowie. Pag napanood, niya, pag, napanood niya, pag, napanood niya, pag napanood mo itong vlog na to. Si Bowie, ganyan tayo mag No! Let's go. Alam niyo ba, friends? Isa rin akong artist. Graphic designer ako na isang music video. No, love, no? Mm, tama, tama. Uh, ako ang nag-drawing nun. Sige. Gusto niyo makita? Gusto mo makita? Oh, gusto mo. Panoorin natin to. Ano mo sa drawing ko? Um, it's very artistic, no? As in, it really gives a new definition to uh, beauty is set in the eye of the behold. Love, hindi mo nasa level lang ako nila Van Gogh. Sobrang layo. Sobrang layo? Konti. But I saw you struggling. <laughs> struggling where? Struggling to right. stay. <laughs> I yeah, I was uh, sleepy. super sleepy. Well, anyway, na alapansin ko si Van Gogh mahilig sa mga portrait nila. Galing ganon mga pictures. Yeah. Anyway, on to our next uh, lakad for this Sunday. Okay, so we just finished Sunday service in CCF Makati. And uh, what was your favorite part of it, love? Uh, getting to know more about Moses and uh, not giving up. Kahit, uh, ka na. Si Moses nga, he was used by God when he was 80 years old already. The most important message that I got is do not be afraid of the wilderness. About uh, do not be afraid about struggle. Kaya pagdaanon mo lang para may may personal encounter. Kaya it really just sets your uh, heart right. Yeah, depend complete dependence on God. Kumbaga. So now that we've enjoyed our Sunday service already, we're off to lunch. Yay! So far, one of the uh, best parts of uh, Sundays is eating a lot. Korean barbecue time. <laughs> <laughs> Korean barbecue time. Oh my gosh, kahit nang nasa Korea ako, yun lang yung sobrang na-enjoy ko. Kumain kami ng galbi. So kumain kami ng grilled pork. So I was telling, I was telling our tour guide, si... Oh my gosh, si ano? Si... Um, Miss Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Di ba na Korean barbecue ba tayo? Oh, Bago ko umalis. Kumain ba kayo ng galbi nung gabi? Is that why you were quiet? Because you were waiting to crack waiting, that joke. I was waiting for an uh, opening. An opening. <laughs> okay ba? Sobrang hindi. Anyway, so we're gonna go and have lunch now. Lunch time! And that's how we're gonna conclude our sun dates. Oh, tapos nga, pagkatapos ng pahinga na dahil maaga bukas. So, yes. uh, parang kita mo, kita niya mga 4 p.m. Takap na kami. <laughs> Uwi na, tulog na. 
<laughs> 4pm pa up na dahil may unang hilit bukas at uh, may taping pa si Watch. So, ready! Rock and roll. Work. This is how you make a relationship work. I mean, this is not the only way to make a relationship work, but this is one way to make a relationship work. A lot, a lot of people would say na, paano pa kayo date or nagkikita? Eh, lagi kayo nagtatrabaho. You really have to make time. Aww. So, if you have to wake up early, go to a date early, have breakfast early, and then go to church oh, early. Oh, si Joyce nakakatulog kanina sa Van Gogh experience. Eh. Oh, Kapal na mukha, ikaw kaya yun. <laughs> Grabe na kaya si Wancho. Pinakahara pa naman kami. Tapos ang laki niya, di ba, 6-1 siya. Nag-yon siya. <laughs> Tapos sobrang tagal. At saka hindi siya yung, hindi siya yung yon na yon lang eh. So, <laughs> Kaya ganito naman nanay ko. No, it's like, love, cover your mouth. Pula mo na yun sinabi sa kanya, love, cover your mouth. Tapos, girl, pumipwesto na siya. As in, pahiga na siya. I love you, Kishmi. Sobra, pahiga na siya. Noong una, sabi niya, Ma- mautak, sabi niya, uh, love, back to back tayo. Back to back kasi wala siyang masandalan. So, sinabi niya sa akin mag back to back kami para masandalan niya ako. Una. Pangalawa, nakikita ko na, nag after nung back to back, naglilin na siya eh. Tapos sinestretch niya na yung paa niya. Pahiga na si Mokong. Malamig kasi, na-enjoy ko kasi yung uh, ambience eh. Patulog na siya. Sobrang patulog na siya. Tapos, sobrang patulog na siya na he's trying to keep awake. He starts opening his Instagram. And it was so quiet because we were watching the the show, right? With classical music, the paintings playing. Kasi talagang cultural, artistic experience. Boom! Biglang tumulog yung Instagram stories niya. Then oh, tulog doon siya na Instagram stories. What a guy! Hindi ko naman siya nasa dahil. Hindi naman. Nakakala ko nakasilent yung That's not the point! Easy! Anyway... <laughs> tapos na yun. It's lunchtime, friends! It's time, time to for, eat! Uh, time to eat. At, at ma- mamaya makatulog na tayo mga baby. Makakatulog na ako. Yeah, tama. Okay. Bye-bye! See you. Okay, ayan na! So, hindi man tayo mahal ko Korean. But this is essentially... The same thing. Japanese barbecue. Japanese barbecue naman. So okay, how about we order yung uh, order natin. And a lot of people ask us, bakit nga ba natin? Okay, yun na lang yung sagutin ko. No? Why did we keep it a secret? Why did we keep the engagement a secret for three months? I think we wanted to keep the focus on the reason why we're getting married, which is that we want to honor God. Um, and that's the reason why you got engaged in the first place, right? That's why you asked me to be your wife. Uh, but also, I think it was to keep kind of the privacy and enjoy the engagement to ourselves and to our closest friends and family. If you had, you know, met us or seen us during the time that we weren't announcing our engagement, we wouldn't have lied and said na, and they were not yet engaged. We would have just, you know, tried to avoid answering the question. But to all of our friends and to our family, especially to our church family, everybody knew that we were engaged. Everybody knew that we were going through prayer and counseling already. But they also knew that as public figures, we wanted to keep this whole thing sacred. We wanted our, our wedding to be sacred. We wanted our engagement to be sacred. We didn't want like a whole circus out of it. Although, obviously, we didn't expect that people will make such a big deal out of it. Although, we kind of had an idea because we were both public figures and we were both, you know, we were working in the same. It's like a fairy tale story for us, for me at least. Na, you know, two people who are working in the same space, in the same show, and then you become an item or you become a love team. And then you become a love team. Uh, it's just, it's very romantic. So, we just didn't want for it to be like such a big fuss. But then eventually, we kind of had to announce it in the sense that we wanted to share the joy of being engaged and wanting to honor God and being a young couple in this industry and in this modern culture focused instead on honoring God instead of following the norm, which is you wait, you have to older, ganyan. Although, old na nga kapatid. Anyway, uh, bottom line is, we're uh, we're very happy about it. So, uh, ayun, ayun lang ang aming kwento. Subay-bayan niyo pa ang aming journey. 
road to forever, oh. if you may. Hashtag road to forever. Ito literal. At saka, ito, actually, we decided, this is what happened also after we announced it. Uh, we decided on having the hashtag bring home the one. Yes. But then, uh, when Joyce asked kung anong hashtag na dapat gamit, the next trend nga, ah? Once you made the right choice. Uh, Inda, kaya muna tayo, my love. Let's keep it. That concludes our Sunday. 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 Thank you for coming with us, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed our little not so fancy day. So alam nyo na, click like, subscribe, tell your friends, <laughs> tell your loved ones that we have a vlog. Goodbye for now.